be a moment to be remembered by Mark Gorski for many, many years to come. And you know, for most Olympians, the day they compete is a day they'll remember for the rest of their lives. Eddie Hart will forever remember the day he was to compete. That was back in 1972 when Eddie's start time for his heat and the 100 meter was changed. Well, no one told Eddie he missed the race. Eddie Hart did not leave the Muni Games empty-handed. He did win the gold in the 4x100 relay. The team also set a new world's record. And Eddie Hart is with us today. He's in San Francisco, where he is now a school teacher. And Eddie, we're delighted you could come and join us. And let's just reset it for a moment. You were set to go in the 100 meters. You were favored at the time. Uh, you had the best time in the trials going in. And I recall it so vividly because I remember you were over by our broadcast studio when you got the word that the 100 meters, I think you were looking at on a monitor, and you saw your heat, and you knew it was all over. Now, what were your thoughts at the moment, Eddie? Well, when we f first saw the monitors, we were thinking that they were uh, showing the heats that we had already run. But then one of the ABC uh, announcers had indicated to us that, that it was live. It was going on right then. And after he told us that, everything was just sheer panic. We, we did everything we possibly could to get to the track as fast as, as we could. Unfortunately for Ray Robinson and myself, though, it just wasn't quite fast enough. As a matter of fact, my race went off just as we were going down the tunnel to the track and into the main stadium, just, just seconds uh, late. Had to be one of the great snafflers of all time. Uh, and I know, Eddie, now as you watch uh, well, people like Carl Lewis, uh, what, what goes through your mind? Uh, that, that your opportunity, your golden moment was right there. It was not your fault. You were not informed of the change in time. But as you reflect back on it, what are your thoughts? Well, first of all, it was certainly an incident that, that I had to put into perspective, come to grips with, if you will, and I think at this point I have. But guys like Carl Lewis and uh, Grady and Ron Brown are, are, are realizing some, some real great moments. Uh, they are going through some experiences that they will remember for the rest of their lives. And there are many opportunities that present themselves to them if they do well uh, in the Olympic Games that, that weren't there at the time that I was competing. But I, I think that these guys will, will do quite well, particularly Carl in, in the four events. I hope he comes up with, with four gold medals. Uh, he's an incredible athlete. Eddie, you came back and we were all pulling for you. You had an opportunity to go against Bortsov, Valerie Bortsov of the Soviet Union in the 4 by 100 uh, I don't think anyone could have touched you at that point. I mean, you just hung it all out there when you were finished on the anchor of the 4x100 relay. Right. Uh, I felt that it was important for me to get myself together and to run in the relay, and of course, more importantly, to win it. The relay was somewhat anticlimactic for me. Uh, by the time I got the baton, the race, for all intents and purposes, was over. I, I merely had to get it from Tinker and get it to the finish line. Uh, no one was going to run me down. They had given me a substantial lead. Uh, but getting up on that victory stand uh, with the gold medal around my neck did help to lessen the blow of, of the 100 meters. Eddie, we're delighted you could join with us and share some.